Things were looking great. Donovan Mitchell smashing. We never had a doubt. Bridges was okay. We had a shot and then he just never entered the game again. Played his third quarter rotation and they figured that was it. Certainly didn't see that one coming and that gives us another L, but we're back again today, Thursday, April 11th. We're trying to find two prize picks, picks for today. So hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. And then the biggest thing you could do is sign up at Odd Shopper. With Odd Shopper, we're taking a market-based approach to beating the books. And it's not just the books, it's the Pick'em sites as well. You can see it on the screen right now. Jabari Smith, less than eight and a half rebounds, is the number one play on Odd Shopper at Prize Picks for today. That's not even a part of, bit of the video. That's just a bonus to you guys. You get expected value, expected win rates. We have optimizers for the Pick'em sites. We have parlay builders and odds boost calculators live odds and more whatever you're looking for if you're looking to beat these sites this is the easiest way to do it click the link in the description less than 38 and a half points rebounds and assists for demar derozan we're going back to it again this time they're on the road in detroit this one tips off at seven o'clock now this didn't work out for us last time derozan had a massive second half we ended up losing i'm going right back and I'm feeling it the same way that I felt it last time. And this isn't even the same matchup because Detroit stinks. This is a bad basketball team. DeRozan should be able to have his way with him if he wants to. But you still have other guys out there. I have it at 34. I'm well below this number. I still have him at 38 minutes. But I think the big takeaway here is that Chicago doesn't really have anything to play for. I'm hoping they take their foot off the gas just a little bit. They're 98.8% to be the nine seed in the playoffs. They're essentially locked in to hosting their play-in game against Atlanta. I like that. Then, To me, that means you don't have to play DeMar DeRozan 42 minutes today, or they're just trying to stretch him out a little bit. I'm gonna go with the former. Today doesn't seem like a day that you need to just rip out the throat of the Pistons with DeMar DeRozan. That line is too high. I think it comes down. I'm expecting to see 37 and a half. So get it as fast as you can. We're going less than 38 and a half points, rebounds and assists for DeMar DeRozan. Less than 24 and a half points, rebounds and assists for Clay Thompson. Now the Warriors are on the road in Portland, taking on the Trailblazers. Not a very good basketball team. Clay is actually questionable for this one. So keep an eye on it. Golden State still up in the air, likely hosting the nine seed, could fall to 10 still have a chance to jump to eight. I don't think that matters all that much here for Clay. I'm just picking against Clay in theory. Maybe it's a Kaminga day. Steph Curry should be here. Maybe it's a Steph Curry day. When you see Clay Thompson, you're immediately thinking this needs to be points and very little else. And he could easily score 25 real points. But if the shot's not falling today, he's not getting there in any other way. He's not sneaking in with extra assists or extra rebounds. It's points or bust for Clay, and I'm gonna bet on the rest of the Warriors instead of Clay. So we're going less than 24 and a half points, rebounds, and assists for Clay Thompson. There we go, folks. DeMar DeRozan less than 38 and a half PRA. Clay Thompson less than 25 and a half PRA. This is the way that we pick up the dub on Thursday. One more of these bad boys before we get to the playoffs. Can't wait to do it. Good luck tonight. I'll talk to you tomorrow.